What happens when a man, rejected by Aviation Academy, decides to build his own plane? Will he defy gravity or just give it a firm handshake and stay put? Buckle up, because this video is about to take you to the heart of Ethiopia, where dreams of light clash with the reality of DIY engineering. Meet Amelash Zeferu, a man whose determination to conquer the skies led him to construct his own aircraft. Though what he built looks less like a sleek modern marvel and more like a time traveler from the early 1920s. Oh, and they mentioned that this wasn't just any plane. This was the plane meant to fly him to his own wedding. The virus journey didn't start in a cutting edge hangar, but in his own backyard. Rejected from the Ethiopian Airline Aviation Academy for being a mere centimeter too short. Yes, 1.69 meters instead of the required 1.7. He refused to let that be the end of his dream. Armed with second-hand materials, a Volkswagen Beetle engine, and a whole lot of determination, he set out to build his very own plane. And where did he learn how to build it? YouTube, of course. The modern-day classroom for every aspiring inventor. Forget expensive aviation schools. This man had Wi-Fi, a dream, and plenty of scrap metal. The result? Well, let's just say, this plane looks like it's seen better days before it was even born. The frame is so skeleton, it might disintegrate if someone so much as sneezes near it. It's like the homeless version of an airplane bare bones with just enough structure to remind you it's supposed to fly. The wings? They don't look too sure about their job either. It's like they're seconds away from telling Zeferu, look bro, either one of us is flying today or both of us go our separate ways. And then comes the big day, the takeoff day. With a motorcycle helmet for safety and a propeller that spun with the enthusiasm of a tired desk fan, the ferry fired up the engine. The plane spattered down the makeshift runway, its wheels skimming the ground with the grace of a shopping cart with a wonky wheel. You could almost hear the plane whisper, are you about to do this? But gravity, being the stubborn force that it is, refused to back down. The plane remained firmly grounded. To add insult to injury, the propeller decided it had enough and disintegrated dramatically, sending beasts flying like confetti at a really sad party. Now, let's be fair. Zephyrus plane may look like the homeless cousin of modern jets, but there's something undeniably bold about this attempt. Much like the Wright brothers, he embraced the spirit of innovation with limited resources and boundless passion. But unfortunately, he wasn't right. It's a nod to the early days of aviation, when dreams took flight before the planes ever did. Except this time, the dream flew a lot higher 
de anteplén. The food wasn't just building a plane, he was building hope. Hope that with the right push, anyone can touch the skies, even if their first attempt barely leaves the ground. The Ferru story is a powerful reminder that the path to success is often littered with setbacks. His plane may not have soared, but his ambition is flying higher than ever. If anything, this was just a rough test run, because every great inventor starts somewhere. The Wright brothers didn't take off on their first try either, and neither did Zeferu. But the spirit of light is about more than just physics, it's about persistence. Handy is a real question. Could his next creation be the start of something revolutionary for Ethiopian aviation? Could he one day see a plane inspired by backyard ambition soaring through the African skies?